is up in the army. I am Jim Near 5 coming at you with a brand new video. And today is another Lego unboxing and build. Uh, I know these are very rare. Anyway, today I am un gonna be unboxing speed build and speed building and and uh, reviewing uh, the Lego Star Wars uh, set number seven five three one eight. The Child. This is from The Mandalorian and it is like <laughs> ah, anyway. I don't need to, I don't think I need to, what I was about to say, I don't think I need to say. Anyway. Uh it has one thousand seven uh, one thousand seventy three pieces which is insane. And uh the box looks amazing, and the funniest thing about this when I f for, what, uh, after looking at it was the child actually has ball from from that he plays with from the ship, like that. That is just the mo the funniest attention to detail ever. Um. Then on the on this side, just white. On this side, has uh, the child. AKA Grogu. And it's white. And black at the bottom. Where Grogu is. And then on the back, we have a big um, picture of Grogu in real life, like size wise. And we also have the size, which is 21 centimeters, 8.5 inches long and 19 centimeters and 7.5 inches high which is actually a pretty decent size it also shows that his head moves and his ears move my computers go off and his hands move it also comes with uh, like a plate with his name on it and, and information um, so it's actually quite interesting. It also comes with the uh, child minifigure, which is just the like mini mini figure, which I find that kind of funny. <laughs> I don't think they needed to include that, but uh, they did. Anyway, I already have that. I got it with uh, the race crest, which is over there in my cupboard, which I cannot access because I have a green screen covering it. Um, so, yeah. With that, let's, uh, open this up, see how many bags are in this. I hate push tabs. <laughs> there we go. You know, it is kind of shocking that it does have pushed the thumb tabs on this one because it's such a big set. Anyway. Okay! That's everything in the box. Uh, how many bags do we got here? So, that's bag one. Bag two. Seven. Three, six, four, five, eight, and a very badly bent sticker sheet. <laughs> that is what the sticker sheet looks like that I got. That's not, that's not good. <laughs> a planet. <laughs> With a book. Anyway, uh, so eight bags of Lego, a decently sized instruction book, so not bad. 
Anyway, let's uh, let's get to build building this. So I think this is gonna take quite a while. So let's get to let's get to it so we can get it out of the way. That's pretty much why I'm doing this. I'm recording this on Monday, so I don't have to worry about about it. The
Okay, I am back. I have finally finished it. I don't even, I, I should really start timing these so I can tell you guys how long they take. I don't know how long this took, but the child is now done. It's nameplate just says the child doesn't say Baby Yoda, it doesn't say Grogu because this is before we even knew Grogu was, was the name. But, uh, I do find it kind of funny. Um, homeworld, unknown. Species, unknown. Age of 50. Height, 0 0.337 meters. Primary, uh, uh, pr primary associate. The Mandalorian, favorite toy, Razor Crest Shifter Knob. <laughs> like, that's kind of funny. <laughs> and even to go as far as actually including the Shifter Knob in, uh, in the build is even funnier. So, this is a child. Well, let's go through this first. So I've already read everything on it. It also has uh, the mini, mini, mini figure version of the child there. And uh, yeah, and this sticker, I was able to get flat, does have a crease in it though, which is annoying, but I was able to get it flat using my Lego Star Wars book to flatten it. That went well, it worked. So um, yeah, with that, that's this. This is pretty much pretty much the weak link of all of it. Here is the child. Now, the child has a lot of features and the entirety of Bank One was literally all Technic bits, which is kind of crazy. I hate Technic bits. Anyway, um, so the hands move. Not that much. But the hands move. The part that moves the most onto him is the head. He can look straight, he can look up, and he can look sad. <laughs> I love sad. <laughs> it really looks amazing. I love the look of it. And I love that you can also do this. You, you, like, the reason why it is so mo movable is they used a ball joint on the for to connect the head, and which I I remember since way back from the days of Hero Factory. So that is so smart to, that they used that, or if they didn't use it, it would have been just like this. That's it. <laughs> but you could do this. You can do this, you can do that, that, and you can do this. <laughs> like, the, you can put it the way you want it, and that is so amazing. It's always going to be like that probably for me, unless I'm having a bad day. <laughs> This will be the way I tell that shows how how uh, my days are going now. <laughs> anyway, with that, guys, I don't have an idea. I don't even have a clue as to where I'm gonna be putting this. As if you didn't see recently, Lego announced a uh, uh, Darth Vader helmet. Obviously, I'm gonna want to get that, and I'm gonna put that on my desk. I don't know where I'm going to put this one because all my shelves in my room are in my other room are full and uh, then this room I could stick him in the same sh on the same shelf with the razor crest but I don't think he's going to fit so with that I hope to see you all in the next video oh, I'm giving her fives from the Nair Army team signing off see you later in the Army and good Bye! Also, if you didn't notice throughout this video, uh, there's this in the back, there was this in the background. Well, this is my new boom arm. This is how we're doing the audio on all videos now. Anyway, with that, goodbye!